Hey, what's up YouTube? Lots of Mods here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to create the Modern Warfare 2 um, trailer effects using After Effects. So this is what the final product is going to look like. Alright, so um, to get started, we'll create a new composition. So choose Composition, New Composition, and we'll call this 2. We'll make it 500 by 500, and we'll make it 30 seconds long. So just copy down all this information and choose OK. All right, so now let's choose a layer, new, solid. We'll call this solid circle. Let's make it comp size, and let's make the color white. All right, so we'll select the circle layer, and we'll click and hold down on the shape tool, and let's choose the ellipse tool. And then with the layer selected, double click on the ellipse tool, and I'll create an elliptical mask. Now because we're using a square, it's going to create a perfect circle. And that's what we want. So we'll come down here to the mask one, and we'll select it, and we'll press Command D, Control D if you're on a PC, and we'll change the mask to transfer mode from add to subtract. And what that does is we're adding the mask and then we're taking it away. But what we want to do is we want to create an outline of this for a little for the, for the outline of our shape. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll toggle down mask two. And we'll bring the expansion in. So negative 25 would be a good value. So now we have sort of like an outline, and we'll double click away from the mask or the layer, and that will close the mask. So now we can collapse everything back. And now what we need to do is create sort of like the two. So choose the text tool, and we'll click in the middle, and just type in 2. Then we'll choose the selection tool, and we'll bring it in here. Alright, um, so this is looking pretty good. This is the basic outline of the shape that we want. So now we're going to create a new composition, and this will be our main comp. So we'll choose composition, new composition. We'll call this main comp. And this is the comp, this is going to be our final render comp. So you can set the width and the height to whatever you'd like. I'm going to do 1280 by 720 for 720p. And uh, make sure that you have all the other settings the same as the 2 comp. Choose OK. And now let's drag the 2 comp into our main comp. And it doesn't matter where it is. Um, so once it's in here, just click on the eyeball switch and that will turn it off. Um, and that's exactly what we want. We're going to map this to uh, composition into trap code form and we're going to create a particle system out of it and customize the settings to make it look exactly how we want. So we'll create a new solid, layer new solid, and we'll call this form. And we'll make it comp sized and we'll just make it, I don't know, blue just to, for organization's sake. And choose OK. And we'll select form and we'll do effects trap code form. And what this does is it's creating a 3D particle system. Now, if we make a new camera by going to Layer, New Camera, just use the default settings. And if we click on the camera tool, the unified camera tool, as you can see, if we rotate around this, we have three particle grids. What we want to do is we want to map the two here, the two composition, into one of these grids. And we want to make it so it's not three, only one grid. So to do that, we'll select the form layer and uh, just close all this and we'll open up the layer maps and we'll change the layer the color and alpha layer to our two composition and I don't know why it does this it'll collapse everything but just open color and alpha back and we'll change the functionality from RGB to RGB to lightness to A and what this does is instead of using the RGB values of our completely white two composition we're gonna do lightness to A, so then it's not going to take that color, and we can customize that using the form settings. And then we'll change the map over to XY. So now, as you can see, we have two, or sorry, we have three grids, uh, three copies of our two layer that's now mapped into form. But what we want to do is we want to have only one of these. So we'll open up base form, and we'll change the particles in Z from three to one. And there we go. We now have our two mapped into form. So we'll delete our camera. And now what we'll do is we'll increase the particles in X and the particles into Y to like 250 by 250. So 
Now, as you can see, we have our two here. But now that's mapped into form, we can uh, have some fun with it. So we'll open up the dispersion twist, and we'll disperse it probably about 2.5. So it's slightly dispersed, and then we'll open up the fractal field settings. And we'll affect the size by maybe 2.25. So it kind of gives us a nice effect. And we'll displace it like 0.5. And um, now we'll simply go into the particle settings. And we'll change the color to sort of a greenish color. And of course, you can change the color to anything you'd want, but in this case, we'll make it green and choose OK. And also, make sure your transfer mode is set to add. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to change the two here to something else, just change whatever's in this two composition, and uh, it'll reflect. So that's basically the tutorial. Um, you can use this for anything you like. Uh, montages come to mind. But um, anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.